Your hunt for the white dragon Daemog leads you to a massive ice cavern. The wind cuts to your bones. There is movement from the opposite side of the chamber as a large lizard-like entity pulls itself from a crack in the wall. His eyes fixed upon you and his mouth open revealing large rows of white teeth. Roll for initiative. Hello friends, and welcome back to the Hall of Craft. So you've asked, and I'm answering. Every time I post photos of it, I get several comments about how I made my ice terrain. So today, I'm going to show you how we make ice boards for your D&D and tabletop role-playing games. Let's just jump right into it. So to start out, we're just going to be using blue XPS foam. You can buy this at the hardware store. It comes in sheets of like 2 by 8 foot for about $30 Canadian. So we're just going to draw on a board that we like the size of, and then we're going to make sure we have a nice sharp knife. So do a couple deep cuts going in each direction to get it out of the main sheet. And once you feel like you are cut deep enough, we're going to snap it off. For the next step, you're going to need something heavy. I used a dumbbell. You could use a large rock, pretty much whatever you can find, just as long as it's got some heft. And you're just going to start smashing it up to get a nice crack pattern on the top. This is going to be a workout. Alright, once we're done that, we need to put a grid on it. I'm going with a 1 inch by 1 inch grid. And that's going to do a lot of the work for you to establish the grid on this. After we're done drawing it, I'm going to cut it in with an X-Acto knife to make sure it's even deeper and it will stay there. doesn't have to be perfect. You're probably going to either have to change to a new blade or sharpen your blade to make sure that it's good. There we go. Now I'm just going to take a bigger knife and start carving up the edges to give it more of a natural look. It's okay if this is rough. In fact, it's actually preferred if it, this is rough. So just tear into it. that simple. Okay, one more step and then we're ready to paint. So I'm just going to take a barbecue lighter and we're going to singe the edges of this. Just going to hold it up against it and until it starts burning in a smooth ice-like pattern into it.
going to do this to all four sides, but not the top. You're gonna go through lighters like crazy doing this. I'm not sure why, just something about the reaction burns up the fuel. Okay, so, so here's how I'm gonna make a small piece to go on top. We're gonna go make a, a large pillar of ice. So I'm just gonna get some more XPS foam and carve it up to my liking. My battery died here, but here's what it looked like. And then we're gonna burn that too. I'll burn this one all over, give it a nice smooth look. There you go. Okay, time to paint. So we're gonna take some blue craft paint and some Mod Podge and mix them up in a cup. It's about 50-50 paint Mod Podge mix just eyeball it. I'm gonna put on some gloves because this next step's messy. Okay, just grab a brush and start brushing it on. Give it a nice liberal coat over the whole thing. Now for the big board. I'm gonna use a larger brush because I don't wanna be here all day. Paying extra attention to the cracks on the top, making sure that there's enough of the mixture to sink into it and hold it together because any damage that you've done to this board will be kind of healed by the Mod Podge concoction. And make sure to get the sides too. Because you've burned the sides, they will take less of the mixture to cover. Gives it almost a plastic-like texture. Okay, so just gonna leave that to dry. All right, so now I have this turquoise color and we're just gonna give it a pretty aggressive dry brush. This is gonna serve as a pretty good highlight. color variety. And then the same to our large board. That's what it looks like. Fairly subtle, but the next step will be more dramatic. Okay, now for the final step. White. This will really bring this piece together. So we're going to do another really aggressive dry brush on this. 
and this is what it's really going to make it look like ice. All of the work you did with the lighter is really rewarded here, and with the dumbbell. dry brush in the same direction to give it like a windswept look. It's not the end of the world if you don't keep all the same direction, but I think it has a really nice element. Make sure to hit the tops of all the cracks because it will really bounce off of the dark blue that's left in the base of the crack. Contrast. Same thing for the sides. And that's it. That's all there is to it. If you like this video, I would really appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up, it would help me out a lot. And subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And that's all for now. I'll see you guys next time. It's so cool! Ooh.